I just say it. Wow, check it out. They banished me, never to be seen To a place where the air's always filled with screams So hot that the land only grows weeds A place filled with demons and ghosts, tumbleweeds Betrayed by some comrades at too brute Hey, I might get you all back It's not if, no, it's when Better watch out, cause I'm coming for revenge I'm a train art, I'm a go for I will learn with if you like this content please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you haven't yet so let's keep the channel growing guys thank you for your support as always let's start from the specs then uh, the house of meets all and upper and finally my conclusions starting from the specs the version 8 is uh, four grams heavier than the boston 7 still a very light shoe the drop remains the same eight millimeters uh, but the stack 8 is uh, one millimeter higher than the previous version the midsole is made of uh, two different forms, uh, the Light Strike Pro in the forefoot and the new Light Strike 2.0 which is more balancier than the previous Light Strike and it has a new torsion system called Torsion Rods uh, for a better response. Yeah. Also now! The also has plenty of uh, rubber, continental rubber, so it has a completely new uh, the same pattern, the grip looks still good, it's not thick and uh, rigid underneath your feet, uh, but I have the impression that the previous uh, design pattern was a little bit better in this regard, but this one is more flexible and uh, more comfortable underneath your feet. You can even hear from the sound. The response form is not that much, so as I said, there is plenty of rubber, so I guess in terms of durability is like the previous one, at least 400, 500 kilometers. As you can see in comparison with the previous version, uh, the design pattern is much more smoother, so I believe it's better for the road. Midsole now! In this version we have also a different midsole. We have two different forms. Uh, the elite one, the Light Strike Pro in the forefoot, uh, which is more bouncier than the Light Strike 2.0 in this version that is softer than the previous Light Strike. You can also see in the table here uh, after the test with the durometer. But yeah, this is a very good update. Uh, it is lower to the ground, so a lower stack eight. You know, I like it. It has a new torsion system, uh, more extended throughout the shoe, uh, with three rods in the forefoot, two rods uh, in the heel. In the heel, uh, we have two different uh, bevels, uh, which help uh, in terms of uh, stability. But overall, in terms of uh, response, uh, in terms of comfort, I would say it's perfect. Usually the transition, uh, the half, uh, it's uh, very good. The running dynamics collect the show us uh, that the shoe has a very good response uh, looking at the ground contact time, uh, which improves during the faster repeats. Uh, but due to the higher stockade and the bouncier form, uh, it has a higher vertical oscillation ratio than the previous version. It means the previous version was a bit better in terms of efficiency because propels you uh, forward instead than up better than the new version. There is always a price to pay. Upper now! Here we got the upper, totally new upper, new mesh, you can see also through it, very breathable, it has uh, more room uh, in the forefoot, slightly more room in the, in the forefoot, uh, yeah, the, the forefoot sliding is a little bit more than the previous version, but uh, it doesn't annoy too much, instead you can use uh, the the feet better than the previous version. There's a different uh, lacing system uh, uh, than the previous version. Uh, it doesn't include the second line of rings, uh, which uh, might help uh, for the runners uh, who have uh, thinner feet. Uh, uh, and also it is wider, especially uh, in the forefoot. So if you have a thinner feet, uh, then the feet might be not that good like the previous version. The tongue is very thin, no padding at all. Uh, it has a gas to the tank, uh, it adds more um, the foot locked down uh, uh, from front to back rather than from side to side. Especially you can notice this when uh, 
you run fast and uh, you have to turn uh, the stability side to side is not that good like uh, front to back I didn't feel the, the count uh, uh, while is uh, ensuring a very uh, good foot lockdown uh, so I would say for those of you who is sensitive in this area of the foot uh, the count is okay so despite there is no upper material to enforce uh, uh, the upper uh, still ensure uh, a very good uh, stability. So in conclusion, this is a shoe that we can collocate uh, between the Takumi and the Adios Pro. Uh, it's a cheaper version, so when you don't want to use this uh, uh, special or super shoes like the Takumi and uh, uh, Adios Pro, which are also more expensive, then you can rely on the Adios 8. It's a uh, old school uh, shoe uh, low uh, to the ground, not that low like in the past, but still it gives you this um, feeling because uh, the compression of the Lifestyle 2.0. I would suggest this shoe, uh, especially for training, uh, for tempo run and uh, for interval trainings, also for fast leg. But I found great, especially during tempo runs. You might even use it for racing, especially for short uh, distances like 5k or 10k. Uh, yeah, I would not use for an half marathon, uh, but if you are a lighter runner, maybe you could even use it for an half marathon. Not for a marathon, for sure. I would uh, rather use uh, an Adios Pro. Uh, which is more stuck and uh, totally a different shoe but it is a very uh, affordable shoe uh, especially if you would like to use it also for racing uh, and especially if you compare uh, to the other super shoes yeah for those of one who want to buy a training uh, but also raise a shoe uh, at, at lower price this is the shoe Therefore, this is a great value for money and considered also that uh, Adidas uh, is quite used to deliver discount out there in the market. I hope it was useful. For me, it was a lot of fun, as always, trying a, a new model, a new version, uh, as always, as always. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, keep running. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say